Hi everyone, my name is Dorothy, I'm so happy that Barbara Anderson has written so many fairy tales and stories that I thought I should let you know about them. The first book that I will present to you is Barbara Anderson Fairy Tales which consists of nine stories, two of which Barbara has been so kind to share with you. The first story is Sapphire and the second, The Apologetic Donkey. I am Sapphire, a clown from the land of Grail. I am oftentimes sad, and sometimes blue, that is why my mother named me Sapphire as her favorite's jewels are not diamonds but sapphires. Most people would be surprised that diamonds are not my mother's favorite jewels but there is a story that needs to be told why my mother loves sapphires. Diamonds are in high demand because of its value. Sapphires have been rated as being a jewel that is affordable, so I thank my lucky stars that everyone loves me. I can appear and reappear according to my wishes to those who wish to see me and I can float like a ghost in the air, emitting a vapor, that is said to be likened to that of the mist that appears when it becomes foggy or rains. My mother, calls me Misty, sometimes, as I am considered to be part of the weather. When rain or fog is anticipated, I am usually called to help out with warning the people that rain or a foggy day will occur. So you see, I am vital in their protection. My sister is Hale, she is often seen during early spring in some cities and during the winters in others. Hale and I love each other but we are glad when we're apart as we work independently of each other. Why did I become a clown? Well, since I am always blue, my mother thought I should become a clown. Not funny is it but my friends have gotten used to me and so have the people. A clown is supposed to be funny, full of joy and laughter, but there comes a time when I am called to help with those who are not happy and do not want to see a happy or smiling clown but one that is merely there for them to console them during their time of illness or grief. One day, when my mother was ill, she called me to her bedside and said, Sapphire, I am very ill today, could you see that you warn the people that the weather is going to be a little misty today? Then she looked into my deep blue eyes, and said, Sapphire, you are very funny, sometimes, but blue, and so you remain sad. If only you were a clown. And so, Sapphire, went to her mother's bureau, pulled out her makeup and applied the makeup onto her face until she looked like a clown, then walked towards her mother. Her mother sat up in bed and tried not to laugh then said, Sapphire, you look like a sad clown. I wanted to cry but now I no longer want to, you know laughing is not in order but you look so funny, and with that Sapphire started to laugh, and laugh, and laugh, and then her mother's sunlight felt better. Once upon a time, there lived a donkey who was always apologetic. Everywhere he went, he always apologized for meeting, playing with, and being around other animals. One day, a dog happened to stroll his way and said, Donkey how are you today? The donkey said, I am so sorry but I am doing fine. You don't have to apologize, said the dog, and with that he went on his way. The donkey then met a squirrel who was busy up in a tree eating nuts. When the donkey happened to walk by, the squirrel said, Donkey would you like some nuts? The donkey said to the squirrel, I would like to have some nuts but I apologize my teeth are not built for eating nuts, only grass and hay, and so he went on his way. Along the road he met a cow, the cow said, Moo, moo, then the donkey laughed. Why are you laughing said the cow. Because you didn't ask me a question. Well, I would like to ask you one now. Would you like to share the grass with me? And so the donkey said, yes. And with that the donkey said, hee ha, the cow said, what did you say? The donkey said, hee ha, hee ha, and with that they both laughed. The cow said, moo, moo, the donkey said hee ha then said, I always apologize whenever anyone asks me a question, but you cow, was willing to share food with me, that I could eat, and with that I thank you, and from that day on, the donkey lived with the cow on the farm. Goodbye from Dreamworld Literature. See you soon. Dorothy.